गाइज एंड गर्ल्स वेलकम टू मोटर बीम वी आर इन चेन्नई फॉर अ प्रिव्यू येस अ प्रिव्यू नॉट अ रिव्यू आई टेल यू मोर अबाउट दैट लेटर एंड विद मी राइट हियर इज द रेनो ट्राइबर The driver does look much better in person than in photographs and there's no mistaking this is a Renault if you see the design language is very similar to its other siblings. This car takes a lot of SUV inspiration. The SUV elements are very neatly integrated like black cladding all around, skid plates, roof rails and large alloy wheels. You also get projector headlamps, DRLs at the front and wrap around tail lamps at the back. The Triber is based on the CMF A+ platform which is derived from the CMF A platform on which the Quid is based. Now this platform is wider and has a longer wheelbase. In fact, the part sharing between these platforms is so minimal that Renault says technically this is almost a new platform. One has to wonder how Renault has managed to fit 7 seats in a sub 4 meter car. Firstly, Renault has compacted the engine base so much, the reason being there is going to be no diesel engine on the Triber and petrol engines take relatively less space. Secondly, Renault has gone for a theater arrangement of seats which means each row is slightly higher than the other thereby saving on horizontal space. The front seats are comfortable and offer good side board string. There is enough headroom and knee room however under thigh support is slightly lacking for tall people the rear seat is quite comfortable to sit in and can also be reclined moreover this seat can be folded in 60s to 40 split to increase the storage area if needed also this seat has a wide range of travel i can push it back all the way if there's nobody sitting behind and literally stretch my legs here the third row can be easily accessed from the second row by folding the middle row seat This area is wide enough for all kind of people to get in. Surprisingly, the last row is reasonably comfortable and because the seat is placed so low on the floor, you literally sit with your knees up. The headroom is just about average for tall people and under thigh support is obviously lacking here. But this car is a genuine 7 seater and you can sit in the last row and still be quite comfortable. Renault has upped their game when it comes to quality. The fit and finish looks fantastic. You also get a 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system which is not only intuitive but has a lot of functionality and it gets the regular Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The digital instrument cluster is new too and gets a funky pizza-shaped tachometer. The 3.5-inch LED MID also shows a lot of vital data. The AC cools very well. You have four vents at the front. You get two vents on the B pillars for the second row and the last row gets vents on the roof there are numerous storage areas in the cabin you get two glove boxes which are sufficiently large one of them is cooled you also get a cooled compartment in the center console between the front seats there is ample storage in the center console along with door pockets in each of the four doors Boot space is a mere 84 liters with all the seats up. But if you want to increase the space, you can not only fold the last row of seats, you can split them and you can even remove them entirely. With the last row of seats removed, the boot space becomes 625 liters, which is by far the maximum for any sub 4 meter car in the country. Under the hood here is a quid derived 1 liter petrol engine. Now the same engine also powers the Clio and the Sendero in international markets. This engine now gets variable valve timing, improved air intakes and now produces 72 bhp of power. Mated to this engine is the Quid's reworked 5-speed manual transmission and this car will also come with the AMT. 
as I mentioned earlier, we are previewing this car and not really reviewing this car. Now, this is a prototype car and as per Renault's international policy, we are not allowed to drive this car. Therefore, we will reserve our judgment on driving dynamics and performance later when we get to drive the production spec car. Be rest assured, we'll be driving that car very soon. The Triber is set to open up a new segment and it is the only sub 4 meter car which can seat 7 people in genuine comfort. This also comes with some smart, clever features and a lot of practicality and versatility. Now this car is expected to be priced between 6.5 to 8.5 lakhs on road. The Triber comes across as a winner and will appeal to those who look at 7 seater usability in a practical, modern and a value for money package. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Motorbeam channel.